Hello, I'm Matt Loftus and welcome to this special trailer reaction. Um, I've no sooner than uh, put my head down and had a little nap because I'm kind of run down at the minute, got hay fever, and I'm actually off work as well, um, an overdue holiday that I really needed. <laughs> um, but forgetting all that, yeah, I've no sooner than woke up from said nap than I see that Shudder has decided to drop the trailer for the much anticipated Creep Show. Oh, yes. Now I've been looking forward to this for quite some time and I've been reading on a regular basis about some of the stars that are going to be in this series like Jeffrey Combs and even reoccurring stars like Adrian Barboa. Barboa? Barboa? Whatever it is. Um, so I am really excited to see this and I'm going to put the trailer on. So let's check it out together and we can talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Oh, here we go. Who are you? I'm Matt. You know it's okay to be scared, right? Creepy doll sounds. Oh, yeah. You gonna tell me what this is all about? Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's it. There he is. You've killed before. Greg Nicotero. See what you did there. There are things in the corners of this world. They'll drive you insane. Jigsaw. A new generation of horror. David Arquette. From the dead. The movie's going to be There she is. It's the way it's supposed to be. September, fantastic. Oh. Wow, what have I got to say about that? Um, it looks pretty decent. Uh, I have been a big fan of the original movie Creep Show, which, as you can see from that, written and directed by, uh, written by Stephen King, directed by George Romero. Um, it was a fantastic movie. Utilized panels from. Um, from the comic book style of like the EC comics, Vault of Horror and Tales from the Crypt, that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, I'm really happy that they've actually uh, brought this to 2019 because the series has stalled quite for quite a few years now. I did do a video before, which you can see if you click that I button in the corner. Um, I reviewed Creepshow 1 and 2 and probably did a load of silly impressions from the series. Great movies. Now interestingly, they did try to make this into a TV show and successfully did in the 80s, but it wasn't called Creepshow, it was called Tales from the Dark Side. They actually did make a movie of that as well, which was pretty damn good, and that's the closest to a Creepshow 3 we ever got, if you ignore that really crap straight to DVD version that came out like 10 years ago that had nothing to do with it, none of the original stars, so don't even worry about that. But this one looks like it's a proper successor to the series and it's spearheaded by uh, the special effects makeup artist and a really good director as well from his work on Walking Dead, Greg Nicotero. The Nicotero cut his teeth on movies like Evil Dead 2, Creepshow 2 and also was in Day of the Dead and also did some of the special effects makeup in that movie as well. I don't actually think they'd give a full episode list out yet but we are close to getting that now. I do know there's an episode written by Stephen King called Grey Matter I believe which is about um, a guy who starts to turn into to a monster and his son is terrified and trying to find someone to tell. That'll be interesting to see utilised on screen. Also, as we've seen in the trailer, an episode called The Man in the Suitcase, which is obviously about a man in a suitcase. <laughs> um, the comic book style just lends itself to this sort of storytelling. Interestingly as well, Joe Hill, who appeared in the original movie as the kid who's getting slapped about by his dad, and besides that he's also well known for being a really good novelist, and has written an episode called By the Silver Water of Lake Champlain. So... That'll be really good to see as well. I really enjoy Joe Hill's style of storytelling. He's definitely inherited a lot of stuff from his dad, so it's kind of cool to see two different sets of kings on this one. It's just a shame that George himself isn't here to see this project. Although, as Nicotero teased the other day, he'd actually put on the poster George Romero's picture on top of the TV screen, so there's a bit of a loving tribute in itself. 
So what else is there to say about this? Um, you really need to get Shudder. I need to get Shudder again because I don't actually have it at the minute. I believe I've got to get it for September the 26th, which is when the series premieres. I don't know if they're planning to release all 12 stories at once, but I will be there checking that out, believe me. So what did you think to the series trailer? Is it worth a watch? Leave me a comment below and uh, I'll get back to you. <laughs> oh, and while you're here, why not check out my latest video, which is about Ghostbusters 2020, the new sequel, which connects with the original universe. And I also yabber on a little bit about the series itself. But if you're not into that, like I say, go check out that Creepshow video and uh, drop me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. So that's about it. As usual, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. <laughs> Bye.